You've probably heard about DeepSeek, but compared to other AI models, how much energy does it actually use? Because AI uses a lot of energy and a lot of water, and DeepSeek claims to need less of it, which is a big deal because AI data centers full of processors like this use a lot of energy and a lot of water. All this equipment generates heat and water is continuously being used to cool those servers down. Now measuring that is a new field of research, but to put this in perspective, a brand new study up for publication found that a single Google search uses half a milliliter in water energy compared to chat GPT, which uses 500 milliliters of water for every five to 50 prompts. So DeepSeek, the company claims to be able to achieve the same results as other AI models, but for a fraction of the energy use. They're saying one tenth, which is a big deal if it's true. And this expert says there are ways DeepSeek could be more efficient. The details are still unclear as to how they've done it. And, you know, there's discussions about that they require less chips and they are more efficient. But I, I don't think we have a definition, definitive answer on that on that front yet. But but in theory, if we can make it to consider subsets or have ways to reduce the computation size by looking at things that are more important within the entire uh, billions of parameters, then we can make them more efficient. So whether DeepSeek is truly better for the environment, that remains to be seen. And it's important to be critical anytime a company claims to be more green. But this AI expert says it's a good thing we're at least talking about AI and energy now and looking for solutions. We, we will see organizations seeking to put their data centers to cool the computers in colder climates. Could that be helpful for countries like Greenland, Canada? And also, you know, can we produce electricity that is greener, could be hydroelectric electricity, can we can we use that to our own advantage? And it's complicated because AI does help us to figure out green solutions. For example, optimizing energy usage for companies, creating AI-backed irrigation and power grids that are much more efficient. But climate scientists are also paying attention to how much energy we use to get at those solutions. And maybe keep that in mind too next time you use an AI app.